Hey everybody, Clay Inferno here. Wanted to talk about the epic finale for HBO Max's Peacemaker, written and directed by James Gunn. We watched it last night. We loved it. We loved this show. There was a special appearance by our friends in Spoiler Warning. It's coming. The Justice League. We had shadowed out Superman, a shadowed out Wonder Woman, but Jason Momoa and Ezra Miller, The Flash, Aquaman. And the Flash showed up at the end. After a really brutal, incredibly violent, incredibly funny show. And one thing that I really like about this show is the costumes and special effects movie level. And it's different. It's different. We've seen lots of Marvel stuff for the past, oh, 10 plus years, 15 years. How, how long has Marvel been around doing these Marvel Studios? And then we got the CW shows. That's great. The CW shows have uh, really done a, a number on costumes. But there's something about these HBO Max shows, including Titan, Peacemaker, Doom Patrol, and however they shoot it, very bright and 4K ready, 8K ready, 5K ready. They just look so amazing. Our dreams of being a kid and seeing our heroes up on the TV screen are, are, uh, are, <laughs> are good. They're happening now. So there's almost too much of the superhero stuff. Like, I would love to watch The Boys, but I just haven't gotten into it. Another show we really like is Legends of Tomorrow, which is returning, I think, tonight. Another DC show. But, of course, the Marvel Disney Plus shows are great. And that includes the Star Wars shows, Mandalorian, Boba Fett. Let me know what you think about Peacemaker. If you saw it last night, if you intend on seeing it, I won't try not to spoil too much. If you haven't seen it but are interested and you want me to convince you, I think I could. I think I could convince you to watch at least an episode. Definitely interested in hearing what anyone has to say. I'm not just all about comic books. I have um, been doing a comic book podcast for a really long time with my friends. And then I've also got my own podcast. My girlfriend's in the other room to do her workout. It's Friday afternoon here on the East Coast. Boston, Mass. Reporting live. Clean Perno. Haven't been outside yet today, uh, but maybe I'll go to the gym. Take some inspiration from Stacy doing her workout in the other room. Um, pretty much finish up work for the day, which is cool. We watch our superhero TV shows, all our TV shows late at night over dinner because we're nightclub people. For a last dancer in my in my house here, I'm a promoter i'm like a a club promoter i promote comedy shows live podcasts music shows most of my day is doing music business type stuff but at the end of the day and my hobbies my hobbies include my podcast my podcast league podcast.com and we've been shooting a lot of video podcasts recently and you know what i don't even know we just broadcast we put it out there we put it out into the world hope people like it i don't know we have some listeners I wish we could catch it on fire. Maybe Wisdom app is the way to go for that engaging conversation. But as far as um, Peacemaker finale, let's talk about it. Lots of cool action, funny, funny jokes. And you've got, literally, I read that James Gunn filmed some of this while he was filming. While he filmed the Ezra Miller Flash cameo on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy. There was a little bit of one hand washes the other because the young lady that's in the in the show opposite John Cena, I forget her name, it escapes me, sorry. She auditioned to be in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which they're filming now. So Guardians of the Galaxy 3, the Marvel people sort of shot it because they were already doing production. So the Flash cameo was shot on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And then um, this young lady... Very talented actress, super funny. I've seen her a million things. She's 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 wonderful. But she did her audition on the set of uh, maybe the on the set of Sooth of this Peacemaker show. I don't know, something to that effect. If you do a little research into that, if it's interesting to you, you'll find that out. That Marvel and DC sort of came together to make sure both projects happened in a way, in a small, tiny way. But it's surprising to see that. That also goes along with. Speaking of the Justice League, George Perez, who's very sick right now, he is uh, responsible for a lot of great 
great work over at Marvel and DC, Andrew J- Justice League and Avengers crossover. A very rare thing is happening where this very rare crossover thing is being reprinted with permission from both huge companies uh, to raise money for the Hero Initiative, which is an organization that gives health insurance to creators, comic book creators, these people that come up with all the ideas, you know, make sure they have health insurance and a way to survive. Anyways, it's a very cool thing. Uh, Marvel DC team up, we'll probably won't see much of that, but when we do see it, we like to point it out, we do. And I speak in the third person, but also from a comic book fan and a member of the community. In conclusion, love Peacemaker. Very top stream show. What else am I streaming? If you're wondering, which you're not, it's funny, I got a wisdom app notification that someone else is saying, come on in and listen. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I'll hop over that. But I would tell you, watching Yellowstone, binging my way through that. I haven't binged a series like this since 24, for Christ's sake. So keep going through it. Loving that. We're loving Ghosts, the funny show on Paramount Plus. Is it Star Trek? Was it tomorrow? I don't know. I just like to, I feel like pop culture is a great thing to talk about with groups of people because you can have some commonality there. You know, my dad and I don't agree politically, but I love, we really love each other a lot. And we can talk about Yellowstone. Maybe he's getting something different out of the show than I am, but we can definitely agree that it's a great, great show. Anyways, I think I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for joining my first Wisdom app talk. My seven fans, I hope to join you in your rooms, and I hope you come and listen to mine some other time. Maybe I'll make this a regular thing. Peace and love. Peace and love. I just took a screenshot. Um, yeah, very cool. Talk to you all later, and if you're interested, follow me on social. I have my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook, they're all the same. Uh, and League Podcast, like Justice League, and then Podcast after it, as in Podcast. LeaguePodcast.com is where you can find info about our comic book podcast. I think this is great.com is my podcast because I think a lot of things are great. And this is kind of an extension of that podcast. Probably won't get a chance to re listen to this or upload it or share it else anywhere. But um, it's great that you guys are tuning in. I appreciate you. All you folks out there, peace out.